Good Morning Wilmington is sponsored by Newcastle County Government. Welcome back, everybody. So I am personally thrilled and really excited to be sitting down with our next guest. His name is Bill Muir, and he is also known as the Sergeant Vegan. How are you? Very good. Thank you for having me. I am so excited to have you here because as my audience, as our audience knows, I am vegetarian. I know the one thing that's holding me back is cheese. We talked about that a little yep. bit before we started. Um, but I am really excited to have you here and to kind of, you know, pick your brain and talk about everything. Um, but before we dive into all of that, okay. uh, I know it was, there's probably several of our audience members who maybe aren't familiar with you, have never heard about you. So tell me a little bit about how you got to become Sergeant Vegan. So the Sergeant Vegan, it's an interesting story. I was actually a Sergeant in the US Army. Okay. I was a paratrooper. 9-11, uh, real quick story, 9-11, I was living in Japan and I got a text on my phone about the Twin Towers mm -hmm. in Japanese. It was kind of cryptic about two big buildings and a fire. And I'm like, what's going on here in New York? Mm -hmm. Fast forward, I left Japan, I went home, joined the army, sent me out to Italy to join the 173rd Airborne and we deployed in 2005 as a combat medic with the 173rd Airborne. Well, thank you very much for your service. Thank you. Sure, thank you, yes, but please continue. So, and I've been vegan since 1992, so I was vegan then, I'm vegan now, and after I became a sergeant, I just started thinking that if Sergeant Vegan kind of sounded funny. It was somewhere between funny and cool, and I would use that while I was in the service, and the guys, as you would guess, yeah. gave me some uh, good-natured ribbing <laughs> for being vegan, but I was in great shape, and I would, as I ran by them, I would whisper something like, that's why you're getting beat <laughs> by a vegan, not in good shape. Mm -hmm. And that continued, and I started to kind of think of Sergeant Vegan as uh, almost like a comic book character. And when I wrote my book, Vegan Strong, I started to write it in that voice of like an almost over-the-top, representation of veganism and like a I had superhero superhero yeah. kind of like sergeant slaughter I can see that. a gi yeah. joe character from the 80s and then i started to think well actually sergeant vegan it would be better if it was more in my rn voice because i carried over being when i was a combat medic to becoming an rn and so vegan strong is written more in my rn voice which okay. is more calm compassionate whereas i I mean, as I was a sergeant in the army, as you would guess, I was maybe not as calm and compassionate uh -huh. when we're talking about life and death issues right. and a little bit rougher. Uh, well, naturally, yes. But the, that was also partly to compensate from you know being vegan in a you know in a war zone. Yeah, which I have to commend you, by the way, because well, I, 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 I when I read that about you, I was like, how in the world did he maintain that? And because I come from a military family myself. So I, I hear how it all goes. And I was like, yeah, not polite for me. That's why I give you so much Thank respect. Um, but yeah, I'm really impressed that you stuck with that and you continue to stick with it. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but when you came back, yes, you brought the, you became an RN, but you mm -hmm. also went to culinary school, right? I did. So I wanted to open a, a vegan restaurant. I actually, that was my plan. And I looked at a bunch of different options for opening and I was looking to open in Philly and I worked at some restaurants in California, and this is like 2007, 2008. Okay. Uh, I went to a culinary program and then I started working at restaurants. And the economy, as everyone remembers, kind of took a nosedive, mm -hmm. and I just thought, you know, this isn't for me. And by about 2000, by, well, by 2010, I was kind of wavering in what I should do with all that experience, and I volunteered to work in Haiti with the earthquake relief. Wow. And doing that for about two weeks, hands on, boots on the ground, as we would say, yeah. it made me think, you know what? This is what I want to do with my life. I love being able to actually help people be actually be able to do that. But as I became an RN, I started to think, you know, all that experience and all that time that I spent trying to open a vegan restaurant, what would I do with it? And right. that's why I wrote Vegan Strong. I wanted to put all that information, plus my 20 plus years of experience of being vegan at that time, in the one spot with the idea of, okay, I was 19, I'm going vegan. And that's when I went vegan at, when I was 19. What could I give somebody yeah. to make them successful in that transformation? And that's why I wrote Vegan Strong. And I thought that would be kind of a fun. And one of the things that I've always kind of disliked personally about books about the vegan experience and about eating healthy is that they always end up 
making it through a kind of a hippie lens, which yeah, I know what lens you're talking about. Yeah, I'm yeah. not. I, that's not my tradition. That's not how I was raised. And also, I don't think that that's kind of the way that's going to be best taken by the mainstream. Yeah. And if we're going to fix our our climate, we're going to finally get our environment under control. Then it's going to have to be something that speaks to everyone, yeah. and maybe the hippie lens, as often as awesome as those people were, uh, maybe the hippie lens is not going to work in 2021. Maybe maybe 1966 would have worked better. Yeah. That. So that's what that hence the the camouflage and trying to almost compensate like the Sergeant Vegan, the over the top mm -hmm. kind of kind of thing, and that's what I did with the book. And I I love it because your journey really all culminated to writing this book. I mean, you went from, you taught English, right, in Japan. That's where taught you started. So, I mean, you started with English, you know, went into the military service, culinary school, all of that, all culminated into one, into creating this and pulling all of those pieces together, which I think is fantastic. Thank you. Um, I, I agree with you 100%. It's, um, what I like about your approach is you, you really keep it simple. I like that you talk about, here are three main reasons to go vegan, right? You have health, environment and compassion pretty basic things yeah. i love that and i think it, you're absolutely right you Thank know you. it's it's definitely a different approach to discussing what it is to go vegan and and why it's also kind of important um next thing i want to talk about to kind of continue with the writing you also have another book right that recently came out about a, was it about a year ago now uh christmas of 2020 yeah okay so about a year ago so tell me a little bit about Sergeant Piggy, where did he come from? So my nieces were obsessed with the pig motif and I made a, a commercial for Vegan Strong okay. with a pig dressed as a, an army sergeant <laughs> and it. they loved it and they couldn't get enough of it. And mm -hmm. when they were watching it, it made me think maybe I should do something for kids. And then I did a little research on kids books with perhaps a plant-based or vegan motif. And they're all basically cry fests about mm. how sorry and sad the animals were and how, and yeah, I get that. And yeah, I, I agree with that on the compassion way, but sure. that doesn't, that, I don't think that sells what it is to be vegan or plant-based that well. And I think what that does is make it just look like to be vegan is to be sad. And it's not to be vegan or, or plant-based or whatever you want to call it. Sure. Is just trying to live your life in the best way possible in a way that you're not harming animals or destroying the planet mm -hmm. or putting like unhealthy things in your body. Absolutely. And kids these days, instead of telling about how awful things are and starting it off like that, just say, hey, this is something awesome. Try this. Mm -hmm. And kids usually are going to be good to animals almost instinctively. Yeah. <laughs> and so I wrote uh, Adventures of Sergeant Piggy, which Spoiler alert, a lot of the things Sergeant Piggy does are based on my own adventures through Scotland and England and Wales and most of Asia and, and the Middle East and just show how awesome and exciting life is, especially because in 2020, no one was traveling anymore. And I wanted to give kids a little bit of travel, a little bit of excitement about the world yeah. in a safe environment because no one was getting on a plane at that point. This is true, yeah. And kind of a little bit of down low vegan slide propaganda in maybe slide in there. Kind of in there. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. Sar Sergeant Piggy is vegan, but it's it's just kind of like his default. And I think as time goes on, that's going to be more and more people's default. However, we need to get there sooner than later because yeah. of our climate problem. Absolutely. And I mean, I wholeheartedly agree with you. Like I am, um, like I said, I went vegetarian. I was much younger. I was like 15 or 16 when I made the switch and I did all the research, right? I was like, okay. And my main reason was health. That was my main reason that, that sort of made me decide this is what I'm going to try. And it was because at the time, you know, we had, there was all these E. coli outbreaks, all these things mm. happening, salmonella outbreaks, all these things happening. And I wasn't a big red meat eater to begin with, mm. but chicken was like my go-to. And I was an athlete, so I was constantly eating the chicken for protein. Then I couldn't touch it because mm. it was, I forget what it was, but they, were, they had pulled it off from the shelves. And it really made me question you know, for the first time in my life, really made me question in an adult manner, like, what is it that I am consuming and eating? And what am I doing to my body by consuming it? And really looking at it as, you know, when you go into the grocery store, you're looking at sort of an industrialization yeah. you know, approach to meat. And that's what we're consuming. And so I did it for health purposes, mainly. And it, I couldn't, I never went back because I did, I felt stronger, I felt healthier, um, more alert, more awake. So I, you know, I don't push my, because I'm the only one in my family, large mm. family. 
but I don't push it on my family. I just try to educate. And funny enough, my I think my niece is moving towards it. I love it. She's getting there, yeah. But tell me what it is that you, for someone who maybe comes up and says, why should I go vegan? I mean, yes, we have those three points, mm. but and they're in the middle of a transition, like I really love meat. What advice do you give them? I would say at first, well, besides those three points, don't think of it as an absolute, you're going vegan tomorrow, or you're doing this, that, or the other. Say, okay, I'm gonna eat some healthier options, I'm gonna try what's out there. When I went vegan in 1992, which is at time of filming 29 years ago, there were no vegan options. So I would have, okay, you're having a hamburger, I'm gonna have a PBJ. That is, was not the way probably to, show, to like showcase veganism to people. Yeah. Whereas now I could say, hey, uh, all right, let's go low key. Once a week, when the day you're gonna have that hamburger, have a Beyond Burger. Yeah. Have a, have a Gardein, which is another great company. Mm -hmm. And there's Tofurky. There's a, a billion companies now that are making this stuff. So, so many options. Try yeah. one of those instead. Don't label it. Don't say that, oh, I can do this, I can't do that. When you put yourself in a box like that, it makes it more difficult for yourself to think about it. And it yeah. makes it makes it so there's a label. Now you think, oh, what's society gonna think of me? You know, uh, where I live in California, Carl's Jr. has a Beyond Burger. So it's literally this choice of, instead of saying, I want this burger, I want that burger, done. Right. Nothing has changed. You've, you've just had a plant-based meal and you didn't even have to think about it. Nobody's judging you or caring either way yeah. about it. And I think that kind of thing, people really need to just consider how much and how many vegan products that we have in the supermarket nowadays, whether it's plant-based milk, plant-based cheese, mm -hmm. uh, there's plant-based chocolate, any kind of thing. Now Hershey's has a vegan chocolate bar and made out of oats. There's an oat milk chocolate bar. Why they chose that and not soy or the other? Who mm -hmm. knows, but it, but it exists, it just came out. KFC has beyond chicken options in some different states okay. that they're always trying. There's, it's the availability the accessibility mm -hmm. of great products make it easy. And I think just substituting things that you would normally eat for a healthier option, and then your meal hasn't changed, yeah. it's just become healthier, is, and it's just become better for the planet, is gonna be the better route to go than thinking that it has to be this night and day switch of like, now you have to wear a monk's robe mm -hmm. and like, hit yourself with some lashes or yeah. something like that. <laughs> yeah, I agree with you. But you're absolutely right. I mean, it certainly has gotten better. I know for me, there are a lot, when I first started, there was nothing, and now there's definitely a lot more options. Well, Bill, it's been an absolute pleasure. Likewise. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your schedule to come and sit down with us and to share all of this with Thank us. Thank you. Um, but if anyone wants to learn more, where should they go? What should they check out? Cool. So I'm easily accessible on the internet, sergeantvegan.com, that's sgtvegan. Dot com. Also on Instagram, SGT underscore vegan, or on Facebook, SGT vegan. Fantastic. I'm going to go follow you right now. Thank, Thank you. you again. Hang with us, guys. We'll be right back.